Are you learning how to use Python to interact with your missed access point? Well, this series of videos is for you. I will go over some very simple script that will help you to achieve this goal. We will look at the API documentation, go over the code together, and I'll show you a couple of examples. If you like the content, please give this video a like and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on any upcoming videos. Thank you very much and let's get started. So today I will show you how to create a site, a missed site within your organization using a Python script, right? So it's going to be a simple function that will make one API call in order to create that specific site. So we'll go over, you know, what, which parameters goes into a site, what we have to define in order to create a site successfully. And I will go over, you know, the proper API call to make to create a site. And I'll show you a couple of uh, example along the way. So first we'll go into our uh, web interface. So here I have all the sites that I have currently in my organization. So as you can see, I only have one site here, the Semfio HQ. And the goal will be to you know, create new sites using Python, right? So instead of going here and, and clicking on create site and doing it via the UI manually, we want to create the script to do it for us, okay? And to do that, we'll use APIs. If we go to the API documentation from MIST, so you can go to this website here, uh, you will see that the information you will need to get in order to create a site will not be under the site section, but will be under the organization section because we're actually creating a site within a specific organization, okay? So here uh, we have the organization section and they have a site uh, subsection. And here they tell you pretty much everything you need to know in order to create a site. Okay, so let me show you the script, let me show you the code, and then we'll execute the code, test it out, and see, see how it works, all right? So the way I've organized it here is, on the left, we have the script, right? And on the right, I have my config file. And I like to do it this way because, uh, you know, for every script that I do, I can keep that config files, and I just have to modify that config file, and I have no hard-coded uh, data in my script, and it's, it's very flexible if I want to work on different scripts. Uh, I can just, you know, copy and paste that config file over and over again. Uh, I always keep a section that has all the API information that I need to actually make those API calls, and we'll go over that information in a bit. And then here, as you can see, I also have information regarding the site I want to create. So here I specified the name. Uh, I want to call it Symfio Dijon FR. That's going to be my site in France. Uh, then I can specify the time zone, so it's going to be Paris, uh, the country, FR, the address, and you have to specify the longitude and latitude, right? Okay, so these are the values we're going to use in our script, right, to make it happen, okay? Then on our script, you'll see that I have uh, a main section here, and in the main section, I have a couple of lines here that will you know, uh, handle all the parameters. And for this script, it's very simple. I only have one parameter, and it's the config file. Okay, so you can see here, it will just you know, filter for these parameters. And then here, what I do with this line here, is I unload all the information I have in this JSON file, right? I didn't mention it, but this is a JSON file. So what you can do with Python is you can use a JSON library to actually unload all the data you have in this JSON file and put it in the Python dictionary, all right? So this is what I have here. The config will end up being a Python dictionary that has all the data I want and I need to you know, make my API calls, configure my site according to what I want, okay? Uh, and then here, what I do is I call this function, and it's called uh, new site. I uh, it's called create new site, and I have this function right here. And pretty much everything is under the section, so I'll sh I'll show you. But what this function will do is pretty much make the API call and create the site for us. Okay, so let's take a look at this function function as it is uh, the meat of the script here. And here you see that I I try to put some comments. So we know what we're dealing with and we know what we're doing. Uh, here, what will happen is that we need to make an API call. And since we're creating an object on the, you know, on the, uh, the database, 
we need to use the post method. The post method will be used to create an object and then the URL we need to use according to missed documentation is this one, right? So we have to use the api.miss.com uh, and then we have to go under orgs and we're gonna have to specify our org ID and this is why I have here, you know, in my config file and then we can use the site keyword and after that, we are going to feed this post uh, API request, along with that post API request, we are going to feed all the information about this new site. So the name, the address, and so on, okay? So how do we do this? Uh, what I did here in my script is I created a new uh, Python object that I call the uh, AP uh, site, or API analysis site here, because um, I use this for another script. Uh, and then, so here, but it can be like new site, doesn't, the name doesn't really matter here, okay? And then here you can see that I'm going to specify different uh, key uh, value pairs, right? In order to define how I want to configure my script, okay? So I need to specify the name, right? So the name, I can go back here and the site on the name. So that's, that's why I'm using the, you know, the config site name. And so it will go and get this name that I have here, okay? Uh, I do the same thing with the time zone, country code, address, latitude, and so on. So I can actually, you know, create my dictionary of configuration that I want for that specific site, okay? If you ever wonder, you know, where I got those specific parameters, values, well, you can go back to the missed documentation and here under the create a site, uh, section, I see that I have all the parameters and I know exactly which syntax to use, right? So if I want to define the name, well, I can use the name syntax. And if I go back to my script, this is what you see right here. If I want to define the time zone, same idea, right? So the, the words I've used here, the parameters, are the exact one that Mist has in his documentation, right? And that's important to understand because if you want the Mist system to understand what you're sending it, uh, to then you need to understand you need to use the exact value that they have defined in their documentation okay so at the end of this process what I've done is I've created a Python dictionary that has all the data I have here in my config file okay what I need to do after that is I need to um, create a JSON file right or change it into a JSON format so we can send it along our API request and this is what this uh, line is doing here. Okay, so the data post is the data I will send along my API request and it has to be a JSON format. That's why here you see I use the json.dump function that will uh, pretty much convert that dictionary, uh, that Python dictionary into a JSON, you know, format. So, you know, so the MIS can understand it. Along with that, I need to build my URL, right? So just like You've seen here at the top, I need to build, build that specific URL. So in my case, what I do is, you know, I'll, I keep the, the, the first section of the URL, the https colon colon api miss.com api v1, right? I keep this into a value here in my config file because this doesn't really change every day. So I can keep it here and then I can just call it whenever I need to make an API call, okay? So here you'll see that when I construct my API URL, the first thing I'll do here, here, the first thing I do is I will go and get that specific string. So here I go get the config API miss URL and it will go and get this specific string for me, right? After that, what I do is I, I add the orgs uh, keyword. As you can see here, we need to add the orgs keywords. And then after that, I need to go and get the org ID. So this is what I do here, you can see the one here will refer to my config API org ID. So once again, I will go back to my configuration file and I will retrieve my organization ID, okay? And then after that, the last thing I need to do is I need to add this site's keyword. So I'm adding uh, at the end here, you'll see up here, I'm adding the site's keyword, right? And then so here I'm, I have built my API URL that I'll use to do my post uh, request, okay? The last thing we need to specify when we do an API call, and I've explained that in, in other videos where I explain like, you know, how to make a simple API call. You need to uh, 
uh, specify a couple of additional informations and this information goes into the headers, right? In our case for missed APIs, we need to specify the format of the data we're sending or receiving. So in our case, it's JSON. So you'll see here that I will specify that the, the format of the data is JSON. And then you need to specify a token for the authorizations. So when you send those requests or those API calls, the MIST um, you know, interface knows who you are and can accept or deny those requests, okay? And you can get the token from the MIST dashboard. Here you can see I have my token here that I used to authenticate myself, okay? So once I have this, I have all the elements re required to do my API call. I have the URL, right? I have the headers and I have all the data I need to send uh, along my post you know, URL. So all the data related to the new sites I need to create. So then what I can do is I can actually do send my post, uh, my post API call here, right? And the way you do this is you use the request library from Python. As you can see at the top, I'm, I'm actually importing that request um, library and this request library allows you to do API calls or to make API calls. So all you have to do is use that library and then you use the post function and as an argument to that function you will give the URL, makes sense, the data you want to send, same makes sense, and the headers, right? And if everything works correctly you should be able to send that request to the MIS dashboard. After that, what we do here is we load the responses that we get from uh, the MIS dashboard, right? So we get, we get the, uh, the response object from that query and in the response object, we will get a lot of information. We'll know if you know, everything went well, we'll know if something failed, if something failed, we'll know about it. And if everything went well, we can also uh, gather um, you know, the output of, uh, of our request, right? So in our case, when you create a new site, the MIST, um, the MIST dashboard will send you uh, a block of data, giving you data about this new site. So it will give you, you know, once again, the name, time zone, and so on. And it will give you additional information such as site ID, right? And that site ID uh, will be very important if you want to do something with that site later on. Let's say you want to create an SSID in this site. Let's say you want to assign an access point to this site. You will need that ID, okay? Um, so this is what we get here in the response and here in the new site, I will go and unload, you know, that reply that I received from MIST and the, 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 the reply we get from MIST is in the JSON format to unload that, you know, in a Python dictionary, you can allow, you, you do the reverse of what we did earlier here and to do the reverse, you can use the JSON.loads uh, function, right? So we'll go and get the reply. Uh, from the miss uh, request, right? And then we'll load that into a Python dictionary that we call new site, okay? After that, I look at the status of the uh, API request, right? Uh, if it's 200, it means everything went well. So if, it, if everything went well, I will print that the specific site was created here. And you can see that I will go and get the information uh, um, as you know the name which which is the name of the site right so in the new site which is the information I received from the dashboard I will go and retrieve the name and I will go and retrieve that ID okay so I should have a line on the output that says you know uh, Symfio Dijon FR has been created and then I can see ID and then I will get the ID uh, the newly generated ID that I received from MIST okay uh, and then if everything went well, I will return that new site, new site ID. So later on, if I go back to my main function here, I can use that new site ID to do other stuff. Okay. One last thing I did in the script here is I, you see how I uncommented a couple of lines and these lines will display the output that you get from the, uh, you know, from, from the missed uh, system. So, I will, I will show you examples first without this output and then after that we can display the output so you can see exactly what you get. What you could also do, you know, um, as a way of studying what you get back from the MIST uh, interface, you can also use Postman. Postman is an application that allows you to create API calls and study, you know, what you get in return and play with those API calls, okay? And then once you have 
the API call that you want and once you've studied everything you can go back to your script and implement it however you want it to be okay so let's see let's see how this works out so here I have my configuration files so if I run the script it should create this specific site into my you know into my mist organization okay so I will actually show you into a terminal it's easier to see so I have my terminal here um, and I have my Python script and I have this configuration site okay so to run the script like I said earlier very easy I will just use Python I will specify which script I want to use and then as the argument I just use the config file okay that's what happens and so here you can see it's very fast since it's just one API call. It's telling us that the specific site here was created and then we get the ID that was generated from MIST. Okay, that, you know, as simple as that. Uh, if I go back to the MIST, uh, my MIST organization here and I do a refresh, I should be able to see this site, right? You see, I have it here. If I click on it, you know, it's France. I have all the data that I've specified earlier. I have it here, okay? So let's try to um, create another one. So in order to do that, all I have to do is change, you know, my, uh, my configuration file here. So I can say, okay, you know, in this case, I'm going to open a new one in Paris and then I'll find a new, another address in Paris. I said this one uh, exists in Paris as well. So we'll do something like that, right? Uh, you could mess up with la latitude, longitude in a real world. But let's say I just want to create a quick second site like this. I can just save this file, go back, rerun again. And so here I just created my Paris site, right? And so if I go back to my dashboard here, once again, I should be able to see that new site. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much what it does. Now let's try something else. Let's try to display, you know, the, res the response from... Um, from MIST as we send that API call and try to study what we get back, okay? So here I'll, I'll create a new one. I create one in Bordeaux, right? Just for fun, okay? And then after that, I go back and here I'm gonna clean my output so you can see everything. I will re, uh, did I save my script? Yes, I did. Okay, so here we'll rerun it and we should be able to see the output of you know whatever mist is sending us back within this response okay and so this is what you see here so as you can see it's a json type of format and it's sending us all the details related to that specific site we just created right and here it's interesting to study what type of information you get back from mist so you know not surprisingly we get the address uh the country code um you know the name and so on you can see that you get the ID, right? Uh, and then you can see you get a uh, you know, couple of additional information here. Uh, you get the org ID, obviously. You see that you have something called network template ID, uh, something called RF template ID. So these could be nice features later on if you want to you know, maybe apply a specific template RF to a specific site. Maybe you could do that as you create the site and you can study pretty much you know, what uh, MIST supports, okay? Um, you can do the exact same thing if you go to the API documentation. You will see that they have, you know, the, the detailed, pretty much the same thing. But I think it's, it's always nice to do it for yourself and, and study, you know, what you get back from, uh, from the dashboard. Okay? Refresh and we should have these third sites. Okay? So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, how to simply create a site within MIST. Obviously, what you could do from there is if you have different sites or let, let's say a list of 10 remote sites that you need to create, uh, you could put all the site information within your config file and then you could use the same script and you could loop on all these elements and create all the sites one after the other within one script. Um, you know, uh, maybe I'll do, I'll do that in a following video. If you guys are interested in seeing that, just uh, let me know in the comment below and I'll be, I'll be happy to create a second version of this script to actually create multiple sites at once and we'll, create to, we'll start to create maybe 10, 15 sites. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. 
uh, consider subscribing because I will be releasing a similar content uh, showing you uh, different you know simple scripts uh, and if you want to learn how to use you know your missed APIs to the to the fullest it's super handy to know about the APIs and know how to leverage them thank you guys I'm Francois and I'll see you guys next time bye bye